For some, it was an email. I got an email. Uh, I thought that was, that was a little odd because I just graduated a few years ago. So, really excited. For others, a tweet. Uh, I actually read it through a tweet. I had missed everything. And uh, it was a congratulations tweet from uh, a follower. And I thought it was a little bit of a joke. I wasn't quite sure if that was real. I didn't know um, that I could be up for something like this. For each incoming member of the Ohio State Athletic Hall of Fame, however, excitement was abounding when they heard that they would be joining a group of Buckeye legends. Playing at Ohio State was very a special experience for me. And to be identified as being a special group out of already a special group, it's just really pretty exciting. Was, I'm a crier, so I was completely overwhelmed. I totally broke down crying. It was just amazing, sort of surreal, I can't believe this is actually happening sort of a feeling. It was pretty cool. I, I really think that there, there are a lot of people who are probably more worthy of it, but you know, when you when you add up your whole career and the impact you had, I can recognize how somebody nominated and why they thought I made a contribution. But it's a humbling experience, but it makes you feel good. Of the 13 members of the Athletic Hall of Fame class of 2014, a couple of the most notable were five-time Pro Bowl NFL player Antoine Winfield and the most recent Heisman Trophy winning Buckeye, Troy Smith. Uh, knowing the work that I put in, uh, the time, uh, we really had some good teams. Uh, I couldn't have did what I did without the help of my teammates. So it's just not me going into the Hall of Fame. I'm bringing all the fellas in with me. To, to feel that you are a part of the tradition, to know that you are a part of the rafters, uh, to, to know that uh, unless they burn it down, it won't be moved. Uh, you know, that means something. For Winfield, who ended his 15-year NFL career following the 2012 season with the Minnesota Vikings, joining the Ohio State Hall of Fame is not just an individual accomplishment. Rather, it's Winfield and his teammates who will be receiving the recognition. I'm very excited. Um, but like I said, it's not all about me. It's all about my team, my family. So I'll definitely include all those guys in my speech. Smith, like Winfield, also spoke of his teammates and said that when viewers see his name on the Hall of Fame plaque, he wants them to remember a leader. If anything, the first thing that I would want them to, to believe, uh, understand, know, you know, as soon as it comes to mind about me is he, he was a great leader. He led his troops. He, he, he put others before himself. Um, I think those are qualities that uh, not everyone possess. And uh, it's a daily struggle, a daily battle to maintain, uh, you know, treating people right. Uh, and I think that, you know, that should be the way that, you know, people think and envision themselves when they look at me. It wasn't only Buckeye footballers who were honored, however, as women's hockey, fencing, women's track and field, men's golf, wrestling, synchronized swimming, and men's tennis were each represented as well. Former Ohio State women's hockey star Tessa Bonham, who won a gold medal for Team Canada in the 2010 Olympic Games, said that while that gold medal was an amazing achievement, this is one she certainly won't forget either. Um, to now have my name inducted alongside all of these amazing um, athletes who I looked up to and um, who I read about is, is truly special. I don't think there is a word to explain it aside from I'm in complete awe and uh, I've had goosebumps all day and I'm still trying to figure this all out. No matter the sport, no matter the year, for each of the members of the class of 2014, one thing was for certain. They'll always have a love and appreciation for the school they call home. I had a moment in the Oval where uh, you know, I got a little emotional and it was pretty cool to be back and um, meet up with some old friends who still live here, friends and teammates. Uh, so it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, the thing about being with Buckeyes is, yeah, once you're a Buckeye, you're always a Buckeye and you just come back and you, you mesh like you never were apart. And it means something to my family, it means something to me. Uh, we hold Ohio in its entirety dear to our hearts and uh, this is home. For Lantern TV, I'm Hayden Grove.